So good morning guys, so this is another video, um, this is the extension from a previous video that I made um, a couple of weeks ago, please check that out first. Um, so this video is intended for the users who has um, transferred from Windows to Mac or who are the new Mac users. Um, so I'm just going to dis discuss basic stuff that you need to know when you use Mac. Um, so let's begin. The the top left corner, as you can see, the Apple logo. Um, so when you click on this, uh, it shows basically, um, you know, what um, software you have on the, on your computer. Um, it also tells you the displays, um, the storage you have, the memory, the support, and the rest of the things. Um, basically, it tells you all the information about your computer. And then. This is the system preferences, which I've discussed on the previous video. Please check that out. Um, so, th so from this uh, menu, you can do uh, you can quit the, quit this stuff. You can sleep. You can do restart. You can shut down. Uh, you can log out as well. So you can do various things from this icon. So it's this. Is, and let's go to Finder now. So what it does is is um, let's go to preferences. Um, as you can see on the top left um, box, so there are a couple of things checked, but uh, hard disk is not, is not checked. So if you want um, hard disk to appear on your desktop, you can just check this by doing that. And as you can see, the hard disk, uh, Mac Macintosh hard SD hard disk is displayed here. If you want to do that, you can do that as well. From this um, hard drive, hard disk, you can access all your applications, all your files, and um, all, all the rest of the stuff. You can get it from here. Uh, to close this um, box, you just check this cross button here. If you want to uh, minimize and put this on this taskbar, you just check on this, um, tick on this minus button. Or if you want to enlarge this, um, then you just do this as well. So it just brings up a whole big screen for you. So let's close this for now. Um, so I'll, I'll tell you about bit about um, creating folders as well um, as 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 in Windows. Uh, what you need to do, you just need to click right side of your mouse, and it comes up as this options. What you need to do is um, depending on what you need. For example, now we just want to create a folder. Just click create this new folder. They we have the new folder here. You can rename as well. Just click once, left first click on the left. Um, and for example, it's just like tutorial. And this folder is created. You can drag and create it and just you can put whatever inside this folder. You can do that. And then to delete this folder, what you need to do is you need to right click here and move to bin. So it's gone to the trash. So this is the all the deleted item comes goes here. Um, so if you double click here, so these are the deleted item. Why well, you can again clear the trash as well by right clicking your mouse and then empty the bin. So you click that, it, it appears as you want to confirm and permanently it is, you just do it empty the bin. That's it. So it's just been deleted permanently now. So let's go back to the finder. So these are all the applications that I have in my computer. So let's to enlarge this box. What you need to do is can you see this cursor? You just drag with your mouse. Yeah. You can see your cursor here again. Just stick to the edge of the box and just drag down. So you can do that from the from the corner as well. Again, see the con cursor, just drag it further down. So it will just make the bigger window for you and you can play around, you know, it depend, depending upon what what was best for you. So let's, there are various um, apps and stuff on this computer. Let's just discuss quickly about maps as well. So this is a new version on um, this Big Sur. Uh, this is a new um, feature um, in iOS lineup. So let's, so for example, if you want to go to Greenwich, Greenwich, London. So when you co click on here, so it shows the t train times as well now. You know, so it's quite handy. So you can see on the right, so at what time the train leaves from that specific station, the DLR, 
again it shows the time of the train as well so in that regard it's quite nice to have all this information in one click um, yeah and again if you as you can see you can enlarge this map if you want by doing that this makes it bigger or you can just simply click on this green button on the top left here next to this red yellow you need to click clean that's it just enlarges the map um if you click 3d so this becomes kind of 3d it's not actually but it looks nice to become 3d um so let's pick up one of these red places for example yeah so as you as you move closer the map comes appears as of 3d as well so which is quite handy and this is another feature so what you can do you can use this binocular um icon here on top right of your map just give me a second Close this, we don't need this. So you place this by the claw, so it's just showing us what, what you can see from that place. And let's see from here. Yeah, so it's in here, so you can see this on the top left. The views as well, you can just move around. If you double click, you can see actually the road as well. And you see on the on the right you can see the binocular going through the road as well. On the left hand side you can see actual the image what exactly is there, like in terms of finding the location. This is quite handy. So you can just see what's happening. So this this just takes you on the on the street level and I, you exactly see what's happening there. So this is a quite nice feature. Um I'll show you one more thing. So let's go back to, for example, Canary Wharf, London. So let's zoom in. And again, click this binocular icon on top right. You can see the binocular is located in this road and it's facing this direction. And you're seeing this image here. So if you click, double click on this picture, or you can just move this, move around like this. Goes further. Just move around. That's a canary walk, as you can see. And as you go further, and the binocular is moving forward as well. So this is a quite handy tool to use. I think this, this is quite useful when you want to find a specific place uh, that you're going to if you do research before you go there. Um, for example, if you wait to park, you know, any stuff there, any, any local shops or things like that, you want to have a look. Um, the roads, you know, the, the roundabouts and things like that. This piece is quite handy. So you can just go on the road and see what happening. So this this binocular feature is quite nice as well. So this is how you look. Uh, I think that's pretty much the map wise. Um, and, and now you can see that in three modes. So this is the default. You can check this public transport and you can see um, the various public transports um, in this area. Like for example, this train station Black Quality allies here, East India allies here. Um, and Canning Town is here as well, so you can see various public transport stations. So that's that's quite handy as well. If you go to satellite mode, so you can see images like this. Yeah. I'm not quite I'm not quite a fan of this, but it's okay. Right, so let's delete this map. So I'm just gonna come out of this map now. Let's check this cursor.
so guys next step um i want to talk about a little bit about keynote as well this is similar um this is similar similar to powerpoint in windows so that's um keynote is the apple version of powerpoint i would say um so let's use the spotlight feature so if you cross this um little mag uh, magnifier glass left um search for keynote then open up so this is the like a, it's like as i said to you it's like a powerpoint version of apple um, you choose which kind of powerpoint you want to do um, for example if you take this one um, make it full size and so this is the design so there are various designs as you saw in earlier uh, you just choose one of them um, just create your presentation accordingly the way to add the new page on here is like similarly as you can see on top left add slide and you can choose the design of your template um, so you just choose this double click and it appears here number two again type whatever you want in, in regards to your text you just choose text here on the right you want to change the layout style you know font bold size italic everything is here um, you can change the color text as well you can arrange according according to the size position you can rotate as well um, yeah, you can add an effect here as well there are various things that you can play around with this presentation uh, you can add some text shape you know depending on what you need you can even add photos here you can bring the photos from the from your um, computer mac and um, put it on your presentation videos you can record audio as well by here you can even sketch so there is option for the table so you can do various things here and once you're done you just do the play and it just um, plays your presentation it's like a preview uh, version of um, windows powerpoint yeah that's it guys for the today um, i hope you enjoyed the video um, please like share and subscribe if you want to know further information or anything what you like to know feel free to add a comment below and um, stay thank you very much for staying till the end thank you bye bye